you, you mentioned the word failure. Mm. And I mean, traditionally, there's been perhaps a, uh, a darker view towards failure here in Europe versus mm. in the US. Do you think that's still the case? Well, yeah, there's always been the adage, you know, that failure is the best thing to learn from. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I'm, I don't really share the view. And uh, I uh, lived in New York for eight years. And of course, you know, I had that view rammed down my throat, you know, for years. And um, I actually don't believe it. I'd actually rather learn from my success. Um, if you want to learn about fa failure, read about somebody else's. You know, that's my <laughs> attitude. Um, but overall, you know, I think failure, of course, you need to go through experience. And you see a lot of people that, you know, uh, can get, let's say they're in their mid to late 30s. And of course, that's the ideal age, apparently, to build a you know, European unicorn. Um, <laughs> but you can have people that get to that age and have never really experienced enough because they don't expose themselves to enough. And, uh, and I have to say, you know, my first few years in big business, between probably the ages of 27 and 30, there are years, there are years where I was blind and, and I made a lot of mistakes because I just wasn't experienced enough. And, um, and actually, I, that's nothing I don't think to be proud of necessarily. Actually, what it means is I should have had more advice. You know, I should have listened to mentors more and, you know, I should have got more people in my life with the right experience to understand things, it actually would have saved me time. So those mistakes are simply a product of the fact that I wasn't equipped. So you know, I think I would say to entrepreneurs, make sure you do get advice, do get equipped, and also do the reading, you know, understand everything. Um, you know, take, um, take business structure, for example. You know, there's a, a fantastic book available, which is free of charge in the UK, and it's called The Companies Act. And um, somebody pointed it to me you know, in 98, 99, and you know, and I read the whole thing, and I've you know lived by it since. And what it, it teaches you all about structure of business, and you know, from equities and the relationship between directors and equity and shareholders, and this, yeah. that, and the other. And it's it's such a basic lesson in business. Yeah. You know, and I hear people that go and study business and still don't study things like that. So, you know, had I read that earlier in my uh, career, I would have been more successful. And the mistakes I'll have made because th I didn't understand the Companies Act, you know, are not mistakes to be proud of. It just means I was ill-equipped. So I think the attitude here is, yes, there's a, perhaps a commercial attitude towards you know, lots of failures, but I think it's only ever anecdotally uh, you know, uh, sweet or interesting. And the Americans seem to love to say, you know, hey, he failed three times before he made it. What a great guy. Yeah. You know, over here, it's, yeah. I think it's, it is harder to get on, get on your feet after a failure. But yeah. I don't think failure is something to aim for. You know, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs>